nasty red. The shifts are so annoying. Look at that. Got another big old power stroke up there ahead. never owned the 6.0, but I will say they are probably the best sounding turbo truck that I've ever heard. So uh, if that means anything to you guys, I think I absolutely hate 6.0s. I do love the sound of them though. What is up Loud Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely awesome today. We are actually back right now currently with Nasty Red. Just picked it up from getting the new brake controller for the trailer, the new trailer brake controller because, uh, you know, we looked underneath and we're like, oh sweet, you know, we got the hook up to the gooseneck and Dad's like, wait a minute. He's like, we don't even have the wiring ran up into the cab so we can test the trailer brake. So, um, there it is. It's all done. You know, everything should, should work. Everything should be good to go. I haven't done to the actual trailer yet uh, just because Kind of on a time crunch right now. Got some phone calls coming up here today. Do you have another item for Big Stinky? It kind of is something that I wanted to get done on this truck just because it just will make it look a lot better. We are going to be throwing a 42 inch curved light bar in the bumper of Big Stinky. Also got some other lights that I haven't decided entirely what I want to do with yet. They were sent in by a different company, not related to this one, but they were kind of sent in as like a gift. I might throw those in the bumper as well if it's not too much of a hassle to hook up. By the way guys, this tailgate, flawless. When it closes, no force necessary, just flawless. It's, I can't get enough of it. Like a lot of these tailgates are so crummy the way they work. It's so frustrating, like my white second gen, even the first gen, like, and that, well of course this one was awful. Um, a lot of them were really bad for some reason, but this one's actually super nice. The way that they have this set up on here works works very, very well. So here's the oh, light bar first. I want to say this video is sponsored by Oxbeam. Thank you for your purchase, of course, light the way. So there will be a link to this light bar in the description below. Your basic bracket and hardware, but nothing fits better than a curved light bar in these bumpers. They just look really well, fills in the gap nicely, and it just makes it a way cleaner look but it takes up that ugly space with something that you can actually use i'm gonna show you how i'm hooking this up now this is gonna seem a little bit i don't know how to say it redneck rigged whatever you want to call it but i don't have any kind of specific brackets or any way i mount these light bars these 42 inch light bars the way i did it with my other truck and the same way i'm doing it with this one is there's these brackets right you can see kind of the crease right there because this was just a, a perfect 90 bracket and then i just basically put that on the ground stepped on it and then it flattened it out and then I took a hammer and then uh, flattened it out perfectly and basically what I do is just like this one ran it through a hole up there that was already there and then uh, put my bracket to that to where this can slide up and down and I can pivot my bracket you know in and out whichever way I want to level it out and raise and lower this but also um, make it closer or further by about an inch of space back and forth um, to get this exactly where I actually want it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And uh, yeah, let's just get this continued and mount it up. Well, there she is all installed. Probably gonna try to throw in some more lighting today as well. This is just one of those days where I'm just trying to get some other small stuff done. Like I said, still waiting on some stuff and transitioning. And with the spacing of the light bar with the 42 inch, you should have about a thumb space on both sides between the bracket and the bumper itself. And uh, that's what, that's what I have this one set up as, of course. Now I'm just gonna try to figure out what kind of lighting I should try to fit in the fog light holes of the bumper and how I wanna have those wired up as well. Well, a couple of hours have gone by. Yes, hours, couple of hours have gone by. And uh, I think I got the truck set up how I want it for the lighting. So, should be pretty good in terms of bulbs. We've got the Nao LEDs in there. Now in terms of the bumper, all the gaps are full and we have lighting in all of it. I think it looks pretty good. There's gonna be people, of course, which by the way, I'm just gonna say, screw the haters. You know what I'm saying? Like there's gonna be people, I already know it. There's gonna be people in the comments gonna say something about a light bar. I do not even care. Don't give a flying flip. I'm getting to that point in my career to where I don't care. It's just funny to me. I, I really do not care. So waste your commentary if you want to. It just, it, it doesn't bother me. Looky there. 
We got the 42 inch curved aux beam light bar in the front and center. And then on the sides, what we have slightly pivoted down are these, what are they? I want to say they're seven inch, but I'm not entirely sure. I think they're seven inch bars and uh, they barely poke out just a little bit the way I have them set up, but I kind of had to make my own brackets again. And again, you know, just kind of uh, fabricating my own stuff as I go, but there's this metal, this like aluminum laying around our shop. So um, basically just took this and had, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see that bar of aluminum there? Okay, well, I ran one bolt through up top and mounted it to the truck. You can kind of see right down in there. You can see the top of the aluminum part there. Bolted up there and it actually sits like this at an angle. And then I measured down exactly five inches from the top of that bar and drilled a hole straight in the center of it, which lined it up perfectly. And then I just ran a bolt that was about, I think it was a five inch bolt. Um, ran a nut up the bolt about, I don't know, two inches. And then I put that on there with a lock washer on the back side of the nut. Um, put it up against that aluminum, and then the back side of that aluminum. I put another lock washer and then another nut and tighten it down and uh, centered it up there. And now, of course, like I had already said, this light is going to project out towards the sides of the truck on either side. So same on this side. They are there to project out towards the sides and that completely side of the truck. But, you know, the side view for lighting. It actually looks pretty darn good. And when we use these, we use our light bars for, uh, you know, lighting up the fields when we're doing hay and stuff like that. So these are positioned to get the most out of the lighting in the front of the truck. Man, this light bar is so cracking bright. This is... I can't, like, I'm try I can't look at it. I'm trying to look at the camera, not the... And then on the side view, you've got the lighting there. And over here, just so extremely bright. These are not aux beam bars, by the way. These ones are a different brand. They were sent in to me as a gift, as an appreciation for reviewing another product, which I think was from Nao. They sent me those. Um, so thank you, by the way, again. It's all on one switch because when you're driving down the road, you're not going to be using the light bar anyway. At least not around here, you get in trouble. So I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll just throw them on the same switch because if I'm going to be using them out on a field or something like that to light it up, who cares if I just have it all turned on all the way. Just going to make the most of the, the gaps on the bumper to where now you can use lighting all the way around. You know what I'm saying? And they're evenly set in the bumper the same way. You guys can see them right there so you can see the symmetry. Everything centered up the same. But I'm pleased with the way that it turned out. Freaking nasty red, man. Of course, rain just poured down and got these wheels filthy, but they look so good still. When it comes to all the parts for these trucks that we use and the set that we've installed, there should be links to everything in the description below. Pretty much everything that we've installed. We should be getting traction bars for Nasty Red pretty soon. The rear, I think it's sway bars, they're kind of uh, broken. Oh, by the way, I did call the place that was shipping out my tires, and I really thought they were supposed to be in this week. That's what it said. It said that April 13th they were supposed to be delivered, and then it said pending after a few days after the 13th had passed, and so I called them today. I said, where are my tires? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, they're trying, they were supposed to be here, you know, a week ago. I'm kind of on a time crunch, and I got to get, you know, trucks built. This is kind of my career. It's what I do. So if I can't produce content, it's it's not good, you know? And they're like, oh, well, they haven't shipped yet. It's gonna happen eventually here. You know, sooner than later, it just hasn't been shipped out yet. And they're like, but we have had the order officially 10 business days. And I was like, why haven't they shipped out? You know what I mean? Just going, being nice about it, but just kind of like, yeah, just kind of get a move on it. That'd be great, you know? Hopefully everybody enjoyed that video. Smash that like button, leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.